Hey guys, Jeff here with Ghost Knight Gaming, and we are taking a moment to introduce another free-to-play game, and we're introducing the uh, uh, city management sim, Big City Stories. So this one's a relatively uh, new game uh, developed by Hellfire Games, and as I said, it's a uh, city management uh, game. So you get to do the whole Sim City esque thing of building a city. Now it's it maybe doesn't have the uh, depth of Sim City, and it has some uh, uh, mechanics that are very uh, uh, you know Facebook management mechanics. And I'll explain that as I kind of look into it. So obviously, like any other building simulation game, you can build your own city. You build buildings, all that kind of stuff. Now, most of the buildings that you build do require workers. So if you look at the uh, bottom left, uh, or sorry, bottom right corner of my screen, you can see I have uh, several stats there. So the 100% uh, the at the top there, that's my employment rate. That's how many people have, uh, how many jobs are filled. Now, that doesn't actually include the uh, number of citizens I have left over, but basically your citizens are required to run your buildings. Each building has uh, uh, that little blue line there with the uh, with the little chart thing. That's the employees required to run a, uh, a building. So, and you get those by building uh, civilians, which is the little people and the blue line there. That shows how many people live in that place. And this is how many people needed to run that particular building. As you upgrade those buildings, you can upgrade them, you steadily get, uh, you, just, you require more and more citizens to do that. The green bar is the status bar towards earning money and how much the maximum amount that uh, building can hold before you have to empty it out and it's just wasting uh, that. So speaking of going back to that bottom left uh, little menu there, uh, the second row is your population. So right now I have 20,000 uh, uh, citizens. The third row is your uh, cash on hand. Uh, you have your first amount is what you currently have on hand and the second amount is what you the one below is your power and that's how much power you can collect so you collect those from you know power plants of various arrays of, of kinds like this uh, windmill array uh, yeah, of which you can see that's full right now because uh, my storage is still small and then the last one is your workers so this is where it's a little bit more Facebook-esque uh, as opposed to playing SimCity, say, for example, because in order to upgrade your buildings or build buildings, you need to utilize your workers. I'm just going to collect my resources to talk here. Uh, uh, now, you can, uh, you can put a over time, over uh, hours. It's just like you're, you're in your end. Uh, you uh, collect it over time, you can come back and collect it. And I did not mean to. Uh, bit of a silly moment for myself uh, anyway so you know you got to collect your resources or they uh, kind of stagnate and just sit there and you don't get anything out of it but uh, you know you build up when you use up those workers to build a building you have to wait again for those uh, workers to uh, to refill so you can continue to build your building so you're kind of stuck on basically what can you do within how many workers you have at that time. You can build additional buildings to give you more workers, but it uses their in-game currency that is gained by spending actual real money. So if you're looking for the fast track, you might end up spending some coin, otherwise you may need to be patient. Uh, you can earn some of the coin through other activities, but it's not exactly the most effective, and I'll talk about the activities in just a moment here. So they give you a variety of different things you can build, uh, storage buildings, power, uh, parks, and then you can build houses, all that fun stuff to be able to uh, work on your, uh, work on and improve your city. So I'm just gonna finish doing all my upgrading, uh, all my purchasing here and building for this time. So you can see they're trying to show what it all is. So this is a, a top uh, view, but I can actually go down to the ground and actually walk about my own city, which is kind of neat. So I can look around at all the buildings I build, see people roaming about town, 
and just generally exploring. Now this also brings up uh, the activities and quests. Now I have most of my quests complete and you can see I've got uh, just below my little mini map in the top right corner I have uh, Mayor Cum Laude. Now that is one of the uh, quests that is available. Most of the other quests I've completed. Uh, but uh, that one requires building another building that allows me to build workers, which requires those gold coins, which requires spending real money or earning them. So I haven't done so yet. So I can kind of rub out and you can see there are citizens all over your town and you see these little guys with the thumbs out. So that actually goes in, uh, will lead into the activities that can be done. I'm just going to quickly go over here. Uh, the two activities they have available, and I'm hoping that as they update more, they'll provide uh, additional activities, is one of those activities, you can drive around, you can drive a car, you can roam around, is uh, ride sharing. So essentially, if, if you've heard of it, Uber is a thing, and yeah, you get to be that guy. So you uh, drive the citizens to their location, wherever that location may be, and you can earn uh, cash, you can earn power, uh, you can also uh, earn additional workers, so just, oops, part of my uh, lack of driving skills here. Obviously, uh, the uh, amount of gold I earn determines, how, uh, or is, is kind of crazy taxi style, where the sooner you get there, the more you earn, and the better rating you get. The other activity that they have is a little zombie uh, smashing thing where you can go around chase zombies. Uh, the only thing I dislike about that one is, well, it uh, you can earn, you can potentially earn a lot more than the ride sharing. And even they drive as bad as I do. Uh, they don't. They don't really have much for you to smash. I mean, there's only. Within the three rounds that you participate in, there's maybe at most 15 zombies. And as you build up your roads and your, your city, you got a fairly large city to try to move around and get to your target. So it tends to become more of a, oh, now i got to drive around the whole time. So I hope that's something that, as they continue to develop this, because it's still kind of uh, somewhere in that, uh, you know, late beta build kind of thing and so there's there's still a fair bit of work and sometimes the uh, user interface can be a little clunky or uh, you can find that uh, that the game is uh, as you can see it's, it's kind of running a little uh, finicky graphics wise but all in all if you want a you know a kind of a, a free uh, building sim to play around with. This one is is decent enough to kind of play around with. So this is is an Xbox uh, or sorry uh, is a PlayStation 4 exclusive. So you won't find this guy on Xbox at all. But yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, if you try it out for yourself, uh, let me know. Uh, send me uh, send me uh, screenshots of your of your city or let me know what your city is. Come and, uh, come and take a look. Uh, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed checking this out, and I will see you guys again in for another uh, free game uh, preview. Have fun, guys, and keep gaming.